Hey there, good morning everyone. Friday the 21st of January 2022. This morning's devotional is a reading from Ezekiel chapter 18 verse 20 which reads, The soul who sins is the one who will die. The son will not share the guilt of the father, nor will the father share the guilt of the son. The righteousness of the righteous man will be credited to him, and the wickedness of the wicked will be charged against him. A 15-year-old fathers a child and then walks away saying, How could I know that I'm the only one who could have done this? A father of three children, a great musician whose worship choruses are sung all over the world, walks out on his family saying, I don't want to be married anymore. Irresponsible decisions have dire consequences. What has happened to personal responsibility? Overshadowed by our desire for personal happiness, instant gratification and immediate pleasure, has personal responsibility fallen off the radar? Does it really matter how others are affected if what I decide to do produces instant gratification? Winston Churchill said that the price of greatness is responsibility. However, the mentality that is motivating many people today is I want to have fun and I could not care less who gets injured along the way. Personal responsibility has three major obstacles, those being individualism, relativism and secularism. Firstly, there is no questioning the fact today that we live in an age of special interest groups who all demand their rights. The emphasis today is personal. I want to be me. Frank Sinatra reflected so much of the individualism many of us display today as he sang, I did it my way. Have you ever considered what kind of mess we would be in if everybody got to do it their own way? Everything that you do affects others, especially in a family. It's fine for a person to drill a hole in an old piece of wood in a garage, but drilling a hole in the floor of a boat could very well sink the whole thing. The second obstacle is of personal responsibility is relativism. I am not responsible. I'm a victim of my hereditary or my culture or the society that produced me. How often have you heard it where, Pete, where something has happened and a person has been held or seen accountable and they turn around and say, but I was not responsible. I'm not responsible for what I did. Yet, without taking into account the lives that are changed in an instant, because I was not responsible. Secularism is the other obstacle of personal responsibility. To acknowledge that you will ultimately give an account to God himself should make you think more soberly and thoughtfully about your actions and your obligations. My dear friends, believe it or not, your choices determine your measure of responsibility and you will be accountable for just that. May the Lord be with you. May he bless you. May he cause his face to shine upon you and be with you always. Goodbye.